San Francisco. We have been looking forward to this day for many years. All of us have been working towards this day for many years. Today, I have three announcements to make. We're going to announce a revolutionary television a game console, and a supercomputer. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about, so let's get started. All of us at NVIDIA has dedicated ourselves to advancing the craft of visual computing. 10,000 people, one singular focus. And it's taken us on an incredible journey. I would say it almost started in a big way in 1997 when we introduced the world's first programmable GPU. And it made it possible for game developers to have an infinite palette to express their art. From that day forward, video games became more beautiful, became richer, more realistic, and different game genres started to have different looks the game industry exploded. And because of the intense technology needs of video games in order to simulate reality, it drove our technology like no other technology in history. Today's GPUs are the most complex processors that anyone builds. It made it possible for us to extend into one industry after another and revolutionize it. There are no products that I know of today where there's a car, a movie, a plastic bottle I was just drinking from, where NVIDIA's GPUs weren't involved in its design. 10 years later, because of our desire to bring physics simulation to video games so that the games themselves can come alive, we invented a new technology called CUDA GPGPU. The GPGPU revolution took us into data centers, high-performance computing, and today, almost every country has supercomputers powered by NVIDIA GPUs. 10 years after that, we invented a new technology called the virtual GPU. We had the dream that we would put GPUs in the cloud and somehow make it possible for you to experience graphics in a computer that wasn't close to you. We call it the virtual GPU. As a result of all these inventions, it has taken us from the gamer's desktop to workstations and corporations, data centers all over the world, cloud services all over the world, and even now cars. Because of the work that we've done, we're now involved in some amazing work in deep learning and artificial intelligence and self-driving cars. Desktops, workstations, notebooks, data centers, cloud, cars. That journey has been incredible indeed. And today, I want to talk about a brand new place that journey has taken us, the living room. The modern living room is, as you can imagine, a smorgasbord of technology. Smorgasbord of technology. You know, when, when uh, the, most, the most enthusiastic person is the person who sells HDMI cables, <laughs> you know that there's something wrong with the architecture of your living room. Well, it turns out there's an enormous amount of entertainment for us to get. Cables, of course. Game consoles, of course. Now we can enjoy on-demand video with these streaming devices. 
But one of the interesting things that's developing, and one of the more recently popular products, are people using tablets and then connecting it to their television using Chromecast. They would like to benefit and enjoy just an incredible number of applications that are in the Google Play Store and be able to share with their friends or share with their family and play it on a much larger screen, their television. I think this is just the tip of the iceberg and signs of things to come. And the reason for that is this. Well, the signs of things to come is mobile cloud, I believe, will revolutionize our television experience as mobile cloud has revolutionized our mobile communications. Just as smartphones has now become everyone's most popular device, I do believe that these early indicators would suggest that the smart television would be the way that we enjoy television in the future. And in fact, we're seeing a great deal of products that are very successful already. There are tens of millions of these devices sold each year. They're growing incredibly fast. These smart, these smart devices, smart television devices with applications are replacing, will replace dedicated devices over time, just as an application has replaced your GPS on your smartphone, an application has replaced your music player on your smartphone, an application has replaced your radio on your smartphone, the application has replaced your camera on your smartphone. These smart devices running applications would increasingly disrupt the dedicated devices around it. Well, just replacing what you used to do before is, is surely interesting. You have fewer things to carry. But what's really exciting are applications that come along that you never dreamed of. Who would have thought that Uber would completely change the way we travel around cities? Who would have thought that Twitter would come along? These applications are simply not predictable, and these applications are simply possible only because the smartphone is a rich computing device connected to a cloud service, and these applications can flourish and surprise us over time. I think the same thing's going to happen in smart television. Initially, application after another will replace the dedicated devices that we have, in the living room, making your living room a little bit more elegant. But before you know it, applications will come along that surprise us. We don't even know what it is, and I have no idea what it is. I do know this. There are a lot of clever people in the world. If they only have access to a rich computing device, a large screen, and a cloud store, amazing things can happen.